Previously on the Identity Crisis Challenge. Alright, we completed more missions. Again, somewhere out of the blue, 141,000 Ottomans. I don't, I don't, where, where do you guys come from? Russian Columbia's up. Uh, 25 authority before we can this reform and even gauge this Muscovy army. We're pretty overexcited. Alright, moment of truth. 96. All members of the Okay, uh, there's no one that's opposing. What is up guys, it's me Absol Happy to be bringing you the finale of our amazing Identity Crisis Challenge. We are um, in our two swaps away from completing the challenge successfully. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to say before we begin that I've really learned a lot from this campaign and I'm really excited for my future campaigns just based off of the stuff that I learned from this campaign. And with that being said, um, I am going to redo this challenge, uh, this time swapping 10 times uh, as Provence. And I think actually our conquest is going to be a lot better because we start in a nice end node in Genoa. And not only that, you can get PUs on France and Aragon, Naples incredibly early as Provence. So that definitely going to be a really exciting campaign. Um, and if you're not subscribed, definitely sh you should subscribe so you don't miss out on that campaign. Alright, so what is left in this campaign? So we have a couple missions left. Um, I was going to complete this side of the missions. I'm not going to, since we completed these two, if we complete this side, we'll have done 75%. And the reason is I don't want to do this mission because it's going to move our capital to right here, which is going to ruin all our trade companies that we have everywhere since our capital right now is uh, right here in Munich or München. Um, so I don't want to do that side. So the only thing we have to do is force limit. Then we can get all of these missions right here. Um, and uh, then we can do all the missions on the left. Impale the Sultan, drive out the Turks, and heir of Rome. Um, and then after that, we're going to do another swap. Um, and then after that, we're going to form the HRE and then do the new HRE mission tree, which isn't much time, but we can do it. Uh, we're going to just start truce breaking now, and we're actually going to go even crazier. What's important, though, is we build up our army. I'm already building up this stack right here. Uh, we can we need to build up to force limit. So we're going to buy um, a couple Merc stacks that we're just going to put cannons, attach cannons to. Yeah, our money is way different than it was before. That's partially because now we're making so much money from trade because we have everyone diverting trade to us. Um, and we also have a lot of money coming from in from our vassals. So we're definitely in a very different situation. Okay, we built to our force limit. As you guys can see here, we've built up to 570. We're actually a little bit over our force limit. Uh, we're going to get this mission, this mission, this mission, this mission. And we're missing some parts of our home region here. Even though they're considered part of our vassals, that's totally fine. Whatever, we go on our left side now. We're going to declare war on the Ottomans. We're going to do imperialism war. And we're going to siege their capital so we can get the next mission. We've sieged down their capital. I don't know if this is going to work. This use, this uh, mission is supposed to remove uh, Mehmed the starting leader of the Ottomans. Let's see if it works here. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, we just killed... Yeah, we just killed both the leader and the heir. Uh, 351 came in instead of their 666. Very cool. And now we also have claims over all of this. Here's gonna be our first battle. Let's see how we fare against these Ottomans. We still have our Prussian ideas. Oh my god. Did get a little bit overwhelmed there. We didn't engage with all our forces. I'm playing on five speed. I should probably slow down. Okay. We're right now about to take three battles at the same time. Crushing it here. Okay, that wasn't a battle. They ran away. 
We crushed it there. We're gonna reinforce it over here. Where we're gonna fight. At this point, we're just so overwhelming. Like, actually, we just stack wiped 40,000 Ottomans. The Ottomans are now just focusing on uh, sieging us. But we siege them as well. We're sieging them as well. And now that we're going to try to engage their army here. Seems they're reinforcing. No, they're not. We're going to continue this battle. We're going to keep their armies all together here. The 163,000. So their entire army and reserves will take morale hits when uh, we fight them. We do have a minus two though. I should have probably checked what kind of province it is. We have reinforcements coming. We have another wave of reinforcements coming. We'll march them. All right, this horse should be over soon. Okay, and finally we can uh, peace out. We can peace out the Ottomans. There we go. So that's 75% of the Romanian mission tree. Our next country we're going to form requires a couple wars. We need to declare war on Sweden and Muscovy. Can you guys guess what country I'm going to form? I wish it was Tibet. I wish it was, but I can't figure out a way to change my religion to Vajihayarna, I think. Yeah. That's the religion we need. Or we need Tibetan culture, but as you guys can see, Tibetan culture is kind of all the way over here, which we're so far away from. Um, but we, if maybe if we declare war Timurids and the Bengal, we can form Tibet. But I think I'm just going to keep that for the next time we do the challenge. For now, we're going to form Russia, which you don't need to be orthodox to form. All you need to do is have... Um, all you need to do is have Muscovite or Novengrod as your primary culture. And you need um, Novin, uh, you need this uh, province, Novengrod, and you need Moscow and some provinces over here. So uh, once we finish, we conquer them, we're going to go to Sweden up here and we'll get the provinces we need to form Russia and we'll stay everything. Uh, contrary to popular belief, forming Russia does not change your capital. Um, doing the mission changes your capital or decision. I forget which one it was. It's been a while since I've played uh, as Russia. Um, I'm not going to even care about culture converting as you guys can. I mean, not culture converting. Yeah, culture converting. I'm not caring any about anymore. And also converting religion. I'm converting whatever I can. But um, oh, with the new provinces I just got, I'm just going to trade company them. Yeah, it's not even a war, guys. <laughs> this is just blobbing. This is blobbing the blobbing episode. I can't wait to do the Provence run, though. That's going to be so fun. Not only that, the entire Provence tree can be done before 1500. I'm testing it out right now, but you, there, you do need to reload a couple times if I want to do a, a world conquest. I'm probably going to have to reload like 10 times. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be really worth it and really fun campaign. One of my favorite things about uh, the Vassal Swarm is just the entire the line they make going from the war destination to Europe. <laughs> They're slowly coming in. Oh my god, we're taking a battle out, up down here. This is not good. We're surrounded too. Our army quality is really powerful though. Wow. Okay, we have almost double his morale. This in the corner. Some of you may know this, but uh, if you, the reason why we don't click the Separatist Sentiment event is because then uh, it won't. The event can spawn again. Like there's no cooldown on the event. So the event can spawn again, and we need, if you just don't click it, that delays the event from spawning again for like three months. I'm going to activate the strong duchies, uh, just because we already have a hundred, we have over a hundred absolutism, so it doesn't really matter. I was trying to spawn the revolution in me right as first one, so I could embrace it right in the beginning of the Age of Revolutions, but no, it spawned in Portugal, so it's just slowly spreading to me.
<laughs> accidentally engaged without a general. It's okay, we're fine. We don't, who needs generals? Okay. Now we can sue for peace. We wipe peace Delhi. We're not a hegemon, so we can wipe peace with no worries. Oh, this looks so border gory. Alright, so that's the peace deal. We'll fix this later. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna have to core them and after we core we can state. And then once we state the Muscovite provinces, we'll destate non-Muscovite provinces and we'll change our culture to Muscovite. Okay, we're piecing out. Right now we're <laughs> we're piecing out for land against non-co-belligerents right now. Uh I wouldn't recommend doing this, but since it's near the end of the game, we don't really care. Piecing out Netherlands. Yeah. Somehow, out of nowhere, we got a big battle over here. Oh my god. Secession war against Castile. Go to war. So now we're at war against Portugal for the throne of Castile. Oh my god. What's going on in this game? This is actually has turned slowly into madness. Yeah, we gotta get our troops there ASAP and deal with this. I bet my all my subjects freaking hate me. Because I'm bringing them all over. We're gonna embrace the institution as well. It's gonna give us some nice bonus. Tax modifier, I guess. I'm still making a buttload of money. Not enough to become an economic hegemon, though. And we need to move our troops ASAP to the Portuguese side. Uh, let's see. Um... Yeah, uh, most of the most of Portuguese numbers are coming from its subjects, but I do believe that all we need, let's see, Union with Castile, all we need is 60% war score. We just stack wipe some Pope troops, I didn't even realize he was in this war. And we do have to piece out the, we have to piece out the Swedes. What the hell? Radu Manhinia. Yeah, nope. Here's what we're gonna do, actually. We're gonna royal marriage the Brits. Let's see. Uh, noble from House Howard. Yeah, okay. We're going to basically make sure that we don't get an heir. We're gonna keep disinheriting and we're gonna get a PU under Great Britain. Did somebody say World Conquest? I ran out of admin points. That's unexpected. Wait, Castile's loyal? Let's see, Castile is loyal to Portugal. We're gonna slack in standards all the way now. Peru's on my side. <laughs> Revolutionary Bremen with the Peruvian flag. We're about to get the war score. Nice, we the war goal. Now let's keep moving. All right, our boats were enough, our 69 boats. Totally not intentional, since most of them are captured anyways. But, um, yeah, we're on, uh, we can go to Africa. Only problem is there's a fort in Fez that's stopping us. Yeah, we shouldn't just stack all our troops. That's just a good way to lose all our manpower. To and they won't peace out. Yeah. We need to, like, siege down all of this, then maybe they will peace out. We are getting ticking war score. Uh, we can gain about 20 more ticking war score, which put our total war um, war score to 50. And as uh, you guys can see, I'm not piecing out the Pope because we need all we can get since um, Portugal has a bunch of territories that we cannot get to and we cannot. We've done with all. We've uh, dealt with almost. Yeah, I think we've dealt with all rebels. Yeah, we have actually. That's pretty nice. I found all of their troops. They're in the south of Morocco, just chilling. Uh, I think I'm gonna engage them. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna engage them. All right, I'm also gonna use this time to uncore unstate provinces. Muscovy is now my main culture. And we can form Russia after we're, we're done with this war. Alright, I made a big boo-boo. So, that war against Portugal was going on forever. We were waiting for ticking war score. Um, 
But what ended up happening is we were able to white piece uh, Ashikaga. And because we were able to uh, white piece them, we were able to get Castile under our throne. So um, here's the player map mode. As you can see, we control almost all of South Africa, all of Mexico, California, and then almost all of Europe. Okay, uh, we are. We do have an heir. His name is Seaman. I did not name him that way, and I wish I had it. But yeah, we're about to disinherit him because we're still trying to get uh, the Howard family line on our throne, which is the same family as Great Britain. See right here. Let's see if we can. Yeah. So right here, these are all stated, um, and then we unstated all of these provinces, and then we restated them so we can keep gaining money, so we can remain the economic hegemon. Right now we're gaining a thousand four hundred a month, so we should be fine on economic hegemon. We're gaining more and more as time is going on. Um, in terms of mission tree, we uh, there's some missions that we just can't take. For example, this Streltsley we cannot take. This one right here we have to be orthodox. We cannot take. So there's some missions in this that's just not possible for us because we don't have the Sardom government type because we aren't orthodox. We could convert to Orthodox, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to blob as fast as possible. And we can take our last reform, but we're not going to take the last reform. Um, yeah, and I did declare war on Uzbek because uh, we're just doing our mission tree now. Only that, once we get enough splendor, we can get the Russian Empire uh, age bonus, which gives us 33% more governing capacity, which is insane. Seems like a fair deal. Ugh, our name placement. No. No. What is this? We got another air, Alexi. But, you know... We just gotta shove him down the stairs, guys. We can't have an air right now. Alright, just expired with Muscovy. Time to... Actually, we're also going to declare we're on the Timurids, too. I don't like how they're doing this. They're taking Muscovy's lands. I don't like this. So we're going to we're we're going to declare we're on them, too. Fyodor, I don't want a heir, dude. Man, I've killed like six heirs. Oh, Ottomans won't even join. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I don't want them sieging down freaking lands from the Russians. I need this land. Maybe we win some battles? There's no battles to take. Everyone's running away. We won a battle there, but that's not enough. Score on Muscovy. Okay. There we go. There can only be one Russia. Very important. Now we can consolidate Russia. That gives me a bunch of stuff. Liberate Ruthenia, very cool. Uh, Baltic Ambition, Partition Poland, okay. Conquer Romania, and then the third Rome. This is gonna trigger an event. Sargard. Where's Sargard? The hell, am I spelling it wrong? Where's this province? Why would I want... Why would I want my capital to be here? No, no, no. We don't... We will keep Munich as our capital. Okay. Subjugate Kazan. Consolidate the steps. We're almost done with the mission trees. We're almost done. Look at all the bonuses we get, though. I think somewhere, somewhere in there we have the Bohemian permanent bonus, the Bavarian permanent bonus, and two Prussian permanent bonuses. They're all in there somewhere. This time we're more prepared than ever. And as I say that, I, I have a rebel sp uh, spawned and I don't have any anyone nearby. I guess I'm going to have to get these guys to go and then I'll move, I'll move one of these stacks over here. And I'll move this stack over here. We'll keep it in Samarkand. Crap. Keep in Bukhara. Did I just lose a battle against rebels? I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't if I did. And if I didn't, then yeah, dude, I knew that. Move the next Norway, like, entirely. Are we 
We're gonna get this mission right here. No, we're gonna get the estates. Where's this prestige? Patronage of the arts. Yeah, there we go. We can disinherit our heir. Very cool. We're now at 186% overextension. Uh, <laughs> very fun gameplay. Please, no more heirs. Please, for the love of God, no heirs. Am I fertile? Is my king fertile or something? No. Why are we getting heirs? Oh my god, more rebels. The stack on its own is dealing with like four re rebellions. Like that, six rebellions. We need to keep converting to get prestige from converting. I think we're under 100. Yeah, we're under 100 now. So it's a lot less annoying. I'd say we completed 75% of this tree. We got another colony. Norwegian Columbia. It's right next to Prussian Columbia. This is a tribe. Yeah, this is a tribe. Wow, they're so big. <laughs> That's unexpected. Okay, so we declared war on the Netherlands just because no one would join on their side. Plus, we can use the Crush the Revolution CB, which is 50% less cost for provinces. It's kind of funny that the capital of Russia is Munchen, uh, Munich. That doesn't seem right at all. <laughs> Munich with a Romanian culture. <laughs> you get some really clowny stuff when you do challenges like this. We still haven't spawned another heir, which is good, but I think it's too late because England's about to get their next leader soon. There would, I thought there would be a small window. Oh, we lost that battle, by the way. But um, I thought there would be a small window. Oh, we just got stack wiped. Oh, it was a Merce stack with no cannons. That's why. Okay. But yeah, we... Um, I I saw that there could be like a little window where this guy takes the throne and he doesn't have an heir that we can claim the throne. We still have a royal marriage. We need to just keep improving relations with them. Can't... Because if their king dies and we lose the royal marriage, we need to royal marriage them again before we can claim the throne. No, Pavel, no, dude. You're such a good king too, but I don't want you. Why, Pavel? I think they're out of Europe now. We did it. We inherited the entire HRE. Except for some stragglers, but those ones were already left after the last reform. But we're now the Holy Roman Empire with another mission tree. Blood and Iron. Okay. Our next Poland. Carpathian Conquest. Invade France. Promote urbanization, protected markets, imperial navy, holy holy state. Yeah. Baltic conquest. Gain a general with a hundred tradition. Okay. Um We're actually almost already done for th with this. Okay. Roman resolution. we still have our Russian Empire bonus very cool so I just realized Munich has both Oktoberfest modifier and the third Rome modifier so even though it's 45 development we can only cause us 82 development to develop it that's very cool <laughs> oh wait I forgot we need to disinherit our air Oh, I just realized I inherited a bunch of land all over the place, thanks to France. Uh, we got Rome, though, as part of that deal, which gives us Italian ambition and also gives us the Roman resolution. 
And this one we can't get because of the revolution that's there. But yeah, that's 75% of this mission tree, meaning we have accomplished our mission. We have, got, we have gone and we have formed seven different nations, or six, well, we were seven different nations. We formed six different nations, starting as Bohemia. We went Bohemia, Bavaria, Bavaria, Ruthenia, then Prussia, then uh, Romania, then Russia, then Holy Roman Empire. Um, truly an identity crisis. Who are we? Let's check out the um, timeline. We'll do it at three speed though. Not our standard stuff. Where did we even start? Oh yeah, yeah. We started as Bohemia. Okay, so yeah, we got we did this. We integrated here. We integrated this. We got a, uh, yeah, we got some territory from Bavaria. Then we PU'd Poland. Then we PU'd, yeah, we PU'd Poland. Then we vassalized Brandenburg. Then we took land from Hungary which gave us the PU claim on Hungary, which we did to get also Austria. You can see right there, we also got Austria too. At this point where, and then we become Bavaria. Then as Bavaria, we just conquer Germany really. We integrated Poland. This is where we started culture shifting to Ruthenian. conquered Bavaria and then we are still, we conquered Constantinople then we became Ruthenia then we changed our capital and then we moved back our capital to Munich yeah to Munich Munich was just like our capital of ever since we formed Bavaria uh, I don't know I would have changed that looking back it's not that great of a province but whatever conquered Moscow and then we formed Prussia and uh, we did Prussian mission tree. And we expanded, expanded, kept expanding. And then we form Romania, I think at some point. Yeah, we this part we're mostly focusing on getting the HRE. Yeah, so we spent like a hundred years as Prussia almost. Interesting. So we stayed as Prussia. We did all the HRE stuff. Looking back, I would have done that in the beginning. I should have, that should have been one of the first things to do. I could have done a world conquest if I did that. If I stayed the emperor from the beginning and then I fought the religious war and I converted everyone early to Catholic. Cause I'd rather, uh, I don't know, Protestants better. But yeah, we were Pr Russia for like a second and then Holy Roman Empire. All right, let's look at some other stats before we end this video. We got a couple achievements from this. They're not and nothing really big or anything notable, just like some grindy ones. We're 10k development. We have Castile under PU. This is the player map mode. Yeah, we really could have done World Conquest, actually, if I was trying to go for it. Our next identity crisis challenge, we're going to swap 10 times and we're going to do a World Conquest. We have, uh, I'm not going to look, but you can see right there, Bohemian Commonwealth, no expiration date. That was the whole point, is to stack as many permanent bonuses as we could. And I'd say we did that successfully. We stacked a bunch of bonuses. But next Identity Crisis Challenge, here's a religious map mode. Next Identity Crisis Challenge, I definitely want to do a World Conquest with it. Here's what our states look like. We have all of France and Aragon, Germany, stated for the most part, some of Prussia and Poland, Wallachia, because we formed uh, Romania. Let's look at the culture map mode. Yeah, Romanian, <laughs> the Germans are all messed up. Romanian, Hungarian, Ruthenian died out. It was really big at one point. I wish we could do a map mode of seeing the different cultures shift over time, but we can't. Anyways, guys, let's make myself big for the end of this video. This is the end of the Identity Crisis Challenge, the first attempt at Identity Crisis Challenge. We did do what we said we were going to do in the beginning, so I'm happy about that. We achieved our challenge. Um, but yeah, that's really about it, guys. Um, a lot of content coming out, especially with CK3 being only uh, seven days away now. 
So uh, if you haven't heard about that, I do have a giveaway happening. Uh, so check that out. It's going to be in the comments below. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing CK3. I have right now I have three videos that I need to edit that that I have that I need to edit. Um, but from now until the first, I do plan on posting about five more videos. So in the next seven days, I should be posting five videos. That's my goal. Hopefully I reach the goal, guys. Um, and thanks really a lot for all the support. When I started this challenge, I was around 88 subscribers. And now I'm almost 180 subscribers. So thanks. Welcome to all the newcomers. And I'll see you guys in the next video.